The decay rate of radium at any time t is proportional to its mass at that time. Find the time when the mass will be half of its initial mass. So they are uh, discussing about the radioactive material here. Okay. Okay. So it's getting decay, which means it's started radiating. And they are saying the radiation is proportional to the to its mass. Okay. Okay. And find the time when the mass will be half of its initial mass. For example, assume you are having a radium material in this size. Okay. Maybe uh, it started decaying. Decaying means like assume like this part got radiated. Again, this part, this part, this part. So when it started decaying, what will happen? The mass of the radium will get reduced. Yeah, correct. You're mm -hmm. getting it? So that's what they're trying to say. Yeah. Now the question is, they're asking, find the time. Like by what time? Like imagine at zero second, it started, uh, at zero second started uh, decaying. Maybe at one second, uh, like this, this much of emission. After two seconds, you have uh, this much of emissions now. So like that, what will happen? Uh, when the time increases, the amount of radiation also will increase. Increase, okay? yes. So that's what they're trying to say. Now the question is, when the mass will be half of its initial mass, when the mass will be half of its initial, half of its initial in the sense, um, like, Nearly this portion is getting radiated. Okay? Radiates, correct. Radiated. Now they are asking about the duration it takes to radiate this much. Mom, but how? This is integration, right? Oh, okay. okay. Any yeah. changes? Different. Any changes can be mentioned as differentiation. Okay. Here it is changing with respect to time and mass, isn't it? The mass of the the mass of the radium is changing with respect to time, isn't it? Yeah. So at one second, it, like assume initially it was 1000 gram. Maybe after one second, it became 999 gram. And then it became 998 gram. And then it became 997 gram. Correct, and then correct. it became 996 gram. Okay. So when the time is increased, the mass of the radium is also decreased. Increased. Decreased. 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 Okay. Yeah, yeah, decreased. Decreased. Sorry. Decreased. So that is why they are mentioning this as the mass is changing with respect to time. So you can say it as d by dt of m. Okay. d by dt of m is equal to minus k m. k why is nothing but it's just a uh, proportionality constant. You can say yeah. it is directly proportional to mass. First, you can put m. Okay, and then to remove the uh, proportional symbol, you can include the constant k. And what happens to the mass? It's getting decreased, isn't it? So put minus symbol. So it will become minus k. Yeah. Clear? Okay. If it's increasing, no need. Okay. okay. Yeah. So from this, you can say dm is equal to minus km into. Uh, not km. Okay, we'll do one thing. Mm. Keep the m to the, take the m to the left hand side. It will become dm by m and k upon, I mean k into dt. Can we say that? Yeah. Correct. I just yeah. taken the dm here and dt here. Okay. Okay. And so now, after uh, you know arranging like m to the one side and k to the other side, you can integrate both the sides. Okay, so when you integrate both the side, this um, okay. Let me write it here. This dm upon m will become log m, isn't it? Yes, sir. Integrate this. What happened to the, what will happen to the t? 
So we should integrate dm by m also, right? Yeah. Yeah. Integration of dm by m, which means you are integrating one by m, isn't it? Integration of one by m is log m. So it'll be, it'll be, it'll go, it'll. Integration of dt is d, right? Integration of one by m is log m, isn't it? What is integration yeah, so of k with respect to t? K. It's t. How? How oh, will you integrate? How will you integrate this? Oh, d what will is vanish, integration right? of minus k into dt? Can you say it's k, k. into one? Yeah. You can write one is t power zero, isn't it? Yeah. So how will you integrate t power zero? One. It's oh, t, t power zero, zero is plus t. one upon by zero plus one, which is t yes. power one by one. It's yeah. minus k into t. Okay. Okay. So now they are substituting t is 0 and m is m0 in this. When time is 0, when time is 0 means initially, when time is 0, what will happen? What will happen to the mass of the radium? The decay rate also will be 0, isn't it? Yeah. So they yeah, are correct. assuming m is m0. Why m is m zero? Which means uh, it didn't. The radium material didn't start to decay yet. Okay, so why can't m just be zero? Why can't m just be zero? It's a good question. Okay, because you cannot assume the mass is zero because um, there is some mass present, isn't it? Yeah. If you substitute m as zero means there is nothing. Yeah, okay. There is nothing to decay. You're getting it? So which is why yeah. you are substituting m as m zero in this. Okay? Clear? That is why we are not yeah. substituting m as 0 and we are substituting m as m0. No. M is 0 and m is 0. Okay. And now you should substitute. So now just substitute in this equation. Dear. What is the answer after the integration? It was log m equal to minus kt plus c. Okay. So just substitute log. t as 0 and m as m0 in this. So it will become log m0 equal to minus k into 0 plus c. So c is equal to log m0. You're getting it? Yeah. Therefore, log m is equal to so just substitute this c value over here. Therefore, log is equal to minus kt. Okay. Log m. What is log m by m naught? What is log m by? I'll tell m you, I'll tell you, I'll tell you.
सो लॉग एम इज ईक्वल टू माइनस के टी प्लस सी सो प्लस सी मीन इट विल बिकम लॉग एम नॉट इज इंटेड हेलो So it will be log m minus log m not is equal to minus k t. So what is the formula for the log a minus log b? Log m by m o. Yeah. So it's log m by m not. M not. It's equal to minus k t. Isn't it? So log a minus log b can be written as log a by b. Yes. Okay, so what about the question? What is the question? In the question, they asked when the mass will be half of its initial mass. When the mass will be half of its initial mass. What do you mean by that? Initial mass means it's m not, isn't it? So you are halving that. So it will be it will be m not divided by two. Understood? So just substitute yeah. capital M as half into M not. Can you follow? I don't follow understand. Shreni? Substitute M. I just substituted I just... M as half into M not because in the question, what did they say? In the question, what did they say? Find the time when the mass will be half of its initial mass. So initial mass means it was M not initially, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, so M. M is equal to so from this we can say M is equal to half of M not. Okay. Are you getting it? Yeah. So log. So this M not and this M not will cancel out each other. So it's log one by two equal to minus K T. Understood? Yeah. So log a minus log b can be written. Log a by b can be written as log a minus log b, isn't it? Yeah. So log one by two can be written as log one minus log two. Two. What is log one? Log one is what is it, ma'am? Zero. Oh. Zero minus log two is equal to minus k t. So minus and minus will get cancel out each other. So k t is equal to log two, and t is equal to one upon k into log two. Sometimes they'll give you the value of log two in the question itself. If they didn't give, just leave it like this. So t is equal to one by k log two. So that is your results. Can Clear? you give me some? Can you give me some? So some which I can try. Like this. Yeah. Just a second. I'll just check on the exercise. Okay, try to solve the same examples itself, Shreni. You just uh, try to solve the same example two and three itself. You just do the same questions because each and every question is different. But the approach is okay. same. The thing is, you have to keep one variable on the left hand side, the other variable on the right hand side, and then you will be performing integration. After performing the integration, you will be able to get the value of c. You will substitute the value of c in the general solution. And then you will do the simplification. Sometimes you will do log a plus b, or else log a minus b. So we'll be doing the same kind of questions, okay? But here it is a twist. They said initially, uh, uh, it it's been half of its initial mass. They said so. M is equal to half of its m not. Okay. So this kind of substitution will be there. That is according to the question. 
that that changes uh, depending on the question we just try to solve the same example 2 and example 3 itself you just ask me if you get doubts you just solve now itself but right now we did example 3 only yeah that's what i'm saying you do it again you will definitely will get it out you will try to do it without seeing it you see it once and try to do it yeah. without seeing it okay the re decay rate of radium at any time t purpose. okay we'll do it Ma'am, it's proportional to time and mass, no, ma'am. Which one? Ma'am, this is proportional to time and mass, no, ma'am. Mass is proportional to time here. Oh, mass is proportional to time. Okay, of mass is directly proportional to mass. Okay, now it's fine. Okay, you are right. Now I had doubt. When time is zero, then we should take M as M dot M not, right? Yes, you should take M as M not when uh, the time is zero, which means initially. Because mass cannot be zero. M not is equal to the mass. What is M not? M equal is to? equal to M not, which means initial. Uh, initially, we are mass. assuming the mass as M not. They didn't give the detail about mass. They didn't say how much kilogram or how much gram in the question. That is why you are assuming M S M not in this. C is equal to log M not. So I'm substituting this. Log M is equal to minus K T plus log. Okay, M not. Oh, 
Okay, in this they are saying, find the time when the mass will be halved of its initial mass. So they should assume log one by two m naught by log log one by two is equal to minus log. Log one is always zero, right? Okay, ma'am, did it, ma'am? Yes, log one is always zero. Did it, ma'am? Okay, try to solve the example two. Example, oh, example two we did yesterday, remember? Yes, we did yesterday. Try to say it once and do it without seeing it. No, I'll try to use my knowledge in this. What do you think? Anything is fine, but don't waste time. You think so? Okay. Yeah. So in this, you should take note that Just go through it once. You do have your notes, isn't it? The class notes. Yeah, I do. I do. Yeah. See you. So it's five percent of P. Okay, ma. I think I can do it. Yeah. So d by dt of p is equal to increases five percent, right? Five percent into principal. D by dt of p is equal to one by twenty into p. Now, what is the differentiation of 1 by 20 dt log 20 plus c, right? No, log 20 plus t, right? I'm sorry. You're I'm not sorry. getting what are you asking? What is the differentiation of? of 1 by 20 dt? Differentiation or integration? Integration, integration. Sorry, sorry. Integration. So, 1 by 20 is a constant which is in multiplication, isn't it? Take it out. Yeah. 1 by 20 integral dt. So it will become 1 by 20 into 1 into dt. What is 1? 1 can be written as t power 0. Yeah. So what is t power 0? 
It's oh, T power zero yeah. plus one upon zero plus one into one by twenty. So one by twenty. One by twenty into T. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Log P is equal to one by twenty into T. Now, the T plus C, right? Yeah, plus C. Okay. Now, what should I do? Log P. According to them. T is equal to zero now. So log. Don't forget to include this plus C. Yeah, that's what I said. Include it. Log P is equal to C. C is equal to log P. Now, for initial amount. So now, if I log. For obtaining the value of C, only you have to go back to the question and see the existing conditions. Hmm. This log P minus condition. log P is equal to. Sorry. Log P minus log P is equal to one by twenty T. Correct. No, no. What am I doing? How did you get? How did you get log? C is because we take T as zero. No, no. Initially. C is zero. Why C is zero? What do you mean by initially? Initially, time not, is zero. Yeah. So T so only C is zero. So C will become log P. Ah, that's what I did. What is P? There is a P is principal. The principal amount. What is the principal amount? Yeah. Oh, It's okay, thousand, okay. Thousand, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, okay. So C is so log thousand. Log P is equal to one by twenty T plus log thousand. Correct? Yeah. Or log thousand is equal to c is equal ah, okay, to okay. log thousand. Correct, correct. C is equal to log thousand. Okay, that's it. That's it. Now log thousand minus log thousand will become zero, no, ma'am, or no, or one. No, 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 no. I'll tell you. See, after finding the value of c, what you will do after the integration, right after the integration, when you integrated both the sides, you are getting this equation, isn't it? So in this equation, you just substitute the value of c. Yeah, that's what I did. So here you don't have to substitute the value of p oh, again. Yeah, Just yeah, keep yeah. the log p as log p itself. You don't have to do the substitution. It's log p is equal to one by twenty t plus what is c? Log thousand. C is log, log thousand. Okay. So now you can write it as log p minus log thousand. Log thousand equal to one divided by twenty t. Thirty t. Now we should substitute P as two thousand because it has to get doubled, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before that, it is in the form of log a minus log b, isn't it? Log a by yeah. log a minus log b can be written as log a by b. So log, log a by 2000. b is equal to one twenty one by twenty into t. Hmm. Which means log p upon log thousand is equal to One by twenty into t. So now you can substitute. So now you can substitute because according to the question they are asking us to find when the principal amount doubles, what happens? In how many years it will double? Which means you have to find the value of t. You have to find the value of t when p becomes two thousand. Yeah. Okay. So now you can substitute the value of two thousand in this. So it'll be log log two thousand log two is equal to one by twenty. Is equal to one by twenty into t. So log and log will cancel out. T is equal to twenty log two. Oh yeah, I'm sorry, I made a mistake. So log two thousand and thousand can be simplified. It will become log two. Actually, you have only one log here. It's it's my mistake. Here, here you will substitute two thousand, isn't it? So it will be log two thousand by thousand equal to one by twenty into t. So it will become log two equal to one by twenty into t. 
So T is equal to twenty into log two. Clear? Yes, sir. The answer is twenty log two, correct? Yeah. yeah. Okay, ma'am. Next question. Okay, now we'll move to the question number three. The question number three is the volume of the spherical balloon being inflated changes at constant rate. If initially its radius is three units and after three seconds it is six units, find the radius of the balloon after t seconds. What do you mean by inflated changes? Inflated means the value of value rising, right? Value is rising, right? Inflated. Value is rising. Oh, it, yeah, yeah, it's getting greater. It's inflating, correct? The volume is getting greater, isn't it? Which means the balloon size is getting bigger and bigger. So here, what is happening? The volume of the balloon is changing. Volume of the balloon is changing with respect to time. So d by dt of v. Do you understand this statement? I mean, do you understand this notation? Yes. So dv by dt. What they said? They said it is changing at the constant rate, isn't it? They said at constant rate. So at constant rate means you have to equate this to a constant, which is k. Hmm. Okay. Example. Okay. And what is v? V is four by three pi r cube. Substitute okay. the value of v in this. It will become d by dt of. All the sums are kind of different. Yeah. Right? Because they are asking in a you know different different area. They asked about the yeah. decay of a ray, uh, material, and they are also asking First about the decay, band details. They are also, yeah, they are but asking about the thing about is, the but the thing is, everything is changing with respect to time. That's what common in this. Okay. Okay. So d by dt of four by three pi r cube. You are just substituting the volume formula. Oh, so volume is writing. So we are differentiating the volume. Correct. Okay. Yeah, we are differentiating the volume with respect to time. Because the question deals about the time, isn't it? Up. What happens after three seconds? What happens after six seconds? They are asking about the time only, which means it is changing with respect to time. Hmm. Okay, so it's d by dt of four by three pi r cube. Is equal to k. Is equal to k exactly. Yeah. So, so now what we are going to do? We are going to uh, we are going to write this as just a second. How did they get this? Four by three pi r cube. Ma'am, we should add t also, no, ma'am. You will take this dt to the right hand side, sir. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it'll be d is equal to. Yeah, but in the left hand Modest. side, but if you take, but if you take dt to the right left right hand side, still you will be having d in the left hand side. Mom, so either way is differentiating only, right? So no, no, they are integrating it here. Just a second. Um, yeah, yeah, okay. They are integrating, but they are not in the, uh, integrating on the left hand side because what they'll do uh, when they integrate, now this they will integrate this with respect to r, and this r cube will become r power four by four. That step is missing. I'll just check this once. Give me a second. Yeah, check check. No problem. The solution is wrong, Shreeni. The solution in the textbook is wrong. That's what I'm wondering. Because when you integrate, 
you will perform integration on both the sides okay so you will be integrating this r with respect to r only that's what it is missing this one is wrong i'll do it you please listen to this correct ma'am you do it ma'am yes so it's dv by dt is equal to k so it will become d by dt of 4 by 3 pi r cube do you do you understand till here yes i do understand okay so now what we going to do i told you already like whenever we do have a different variable here you are in you are going to perform integration both the sides but if you notice you have t here and you have r here so what we will do we will multiply this and divide it by dr do you remember oh yeah because there is a there is radius okay it's it's radius it this t represents about the time this one is about the radius it's dr by dr so dr by d, dr okay. yeah so it will be 4 by 3 pi r cube equal to k so now you can write this as dr by dt d by into d by dt of 4 by 3 i mean d by dr it should be just a second i'll write it clearly d by dr of 4 by 3 pi r cube equal to k clubbing these two can you follow this yes okay so now when you differentiate this 4 by 3 pi r cube like what is d i'll do this part alone separately uh, shrenik i'll i'll do the differentiation and sub substitute over there itself again so it's d by dr of 4 by 3 pi r cube take the 4 by 3 pi outside it will become d by dr of r cube okay because 4 by 3 and pi they are constant they are in multiplication you take it out so it will be differentiation of r cube what is differentiation of r cube r to the power no, 2r square 3r square ah 3r square sorry 3r square yes. isn't it so this 3 and this 3 will cancel out each other it will become 4 pi r square can you follow yes i can follow so just substitute this 4 pi r square over here shrini we did this part only over here you going to make the substitution oh that's it okay okay then so what happens to dr it's going to be dr by dt into 4 pi r square we are not four done yet yeah. okay yeah. we didn't do the integration yet we just did the substitution and we did the differentiation now we going to do the integration I'll integration now we'll integrate now you keep the r and all one side uh, shrini so you can write it as dr into 4 pi r square equal to k into dt so you can switch them this is commutative okay so it will become 4 pi r square into dr equal to k into dt okay so now you integrate both the sides now you integrate both the sides so we'll get uh, i'll do it here 4 pi will come outside so 4 pi will come r outside the, exactly r what is the integration of r square r cube by 3 yeah 4 pi will come out r, r cube square by dr it's r cube by 3 3 okay so we are done with the left hand side we will do the right hand side also you are integrating k dt k is a constant isn't it shrinik you can take it kt out. kt yeah so integration of one with respect to dt is kt and you will include plus c also in the right hand side yeah plus, plus c, c is right. nothing yeah. but it's an integral constant clear uh, and now you uh, now you will substitute zero for time wait a minute now we can now we can make the substitution first So we should substitute zero only for time, right? Or we'll substitute zero for time for the initial condition. Yeah, initial. We'll only, read out what. the condition again. We'll read out the condition again. So it's four uh, pi by three into r cube equal to k t plus c.
Okay. Okay. Now we'll go back to the condition. For finding the value of C, you will always substitute the initial condition. Okay. That is common for all the question. For finding the value of C, you will always substitute the initial condition. Just read out the initial statement. Initially, its radius is three units. Meaning is when time oh. is zero, R is equal to three. That is how you would be able to figure out the condition. Can you follow? Then you should, yeah, then you should substitute R as three and time as zero, correct? Exactly. For finding the value of C. Always, always you have to substitute this initial condition for finding the value of C that is common for all the problems. So it will become four by three into R cube. What is R cube? R cube is three cube equal to K, three cube is equal to is K into zero plus C. Plus C. So C is equal to? Three and this power three, will cancel. Three, yeah. Four pi into three yeah. square. Uh, what is three yeah. square? Three square is nine. Nine, nine. is 36 pi, pi equal to C. Equal to C. Now we'll okay. again substitute this. Now you will again substitute with this over here. And then we should change the change it as 3 and 6, correct? And then we'll get the answer. We'll write it as 4 by 3 pi r q equal is to equal kt, to kt plus, plus 36, 36 pi. pi. After that, we'll substitute r as 3. No, r as, after three, uh, r as 6 and uh, uh, t as 3, correct? After that, you will substitute. RS you read six. out the next condition. After three seconds, it is six units. Yeah. So three and six will substitute. Exactly. P is three, R is six. P is three and R is six. Very good. Yeah. So it will become okay. four by three pi into R cube. R cube is six cube. Equal to K into T. T is three plus 36 pi. It's 3K plus 36 pi. That's how. So you can simplify this. It will become 2. 2 into 4 pi is 8 pi. So it will become 3K equal to 8 pi minus 36 pi. Which is ah, 24. My, correct. Sorry, I no. forgot to cube it. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, cube you it yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yes, ma'am. That's what I was going to say. R cube, yeah, yeah. isn't it? Six cube. What is six cube? So six 36, six 36. 36, 36, 36 into six is? Okay, we'll just write it as 36 into six. Cancel this and this. This will be one and this will be two. 36 into two is 72. So 72 yeah. into four. Thirty-three, twenty, thirty-two, two eighty-eight, two eighty-eight, two eighty-eight pi. So it will be two eighty-eight pi minus thirty-six pi. Okay. Yeah. So two it will be two fifty-two pi equal to three k. Equal to three k. Yeah. So we'll be able to find the value of k by simplifying this. So k is yeah. equal to two fifty-two upon three. So into K 22 by 7. Equal to 84 pi. Okay. So by yeah. that, it will inflate. Yeah. Yeah. By so K, just substitute the value of K and C in this equation. So 84 pi is the constant Here rate. you will substitute the value of K. Yeah. 84 pi is the constant rate. Yeah. 84 pi, pi is the constant rate, exactly. But the question is, <coughs> they're asking about the radius of the balloon. You have to find the value of R here. So it will be four by three pi R cube equal to K into T. What is K? K is 84 pi. 84 pi. T plus 36 pi. From this, you want to find the value of R. The simplification is really tired. I don't hear. This one is very big.
you can do one thing you can cancel out all the pi take the pi out it will be 4 by 3 r cube equal to pi into 84t plus 36 so it's 4 by 3 pi 4 by 3 r cube equal to 84t plus 36 So take the 4 by 3 to the other side, it will become 3 by 4 into 84t plus 36. So r cube is equal to 3 by 4 into 84t plus 3 by 4 into 36. 4 and this will be cancelled like it will become 21. So r cube is equal to 3 into 21 which is 70. Uh, 63 t plus cancel out the 4 and 36 it will become 9 3 9 is 27 so that's your r cube and for finding the value of r just take cubic root both the sides it will become cubic root of 63 t plus 27 can you follow Yes. Okay. Please note it down. Please note down the simplification. Otherwise, if you do it alone, you won't be able to, you know, solve it. Okay, more well, sure. Okay, ma'am. Uh. So, the question number one and two. Exa the question uh, number one and two are same as that of the example six. I mean, example four. I just have to use different formula, that's it, correct? I guess it is the same formula. They are asking about the balloon only, I guess. Just a second. Surface of a balloon. Okay, there they asked about the volume of the balloon. Volume, so your now surface. they are saying surface. So you just have to use surface of a balloon. So you will write ds by dt instead of v. Here also, you will use surface of a balloon formula, which means surface of a sphere formula, you will use it. Same method. They gave a hint here itself. They gave you a formula. Surface of a balloon is 4 pi r square. Don't refer the textbook because the textbook solution was wrong. You just refer your notebook only. Okay? Mm, yes, ma'am. You take down these okay. two problems as homework and send it by today okay. itself. Then only you'll be able to remember. By to today, to tomorrow the... exam. Tomorrow is exam. I'll send you by tomorrow. I'll send you. By tomorrow. tomorrow yeah, by okay. tomorrow, two o'clock. I'll send you. Okay. Okay, Shrini. I have English tomorrow. Oh, you have exams. Fine, fine, fine. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yes, Shrini. Okay, ma'am. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank, thank you. Thank Sorry, you, dear. No problem. Thank you. Yes, sir.